reactor online sensors online weapons online all systems nominal Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and I have a different video today. So the reason why um, I have this video out is because I was requested to put out a video about how to do a macro for a Logitech um, gaming gaming mouse. So um, the person who uh, requested it was uh, Tron Snipers HD One. So thank you very much for putting in the, the the little video request here. So, this is basically how you do it. First thing I always do when setting up a macro for a new Mac that I'm going to be running that night. First thing I do is I load up the Mac in, for example, this, uh, this little, you know, in, into just a generic uh, map here. Then what I do, I'll tab out. Now, first thing first, make sure, if you don't have it already, you go, you, you get the software, the Logitech Gaming software. Um, the way you get it is you go to uh, gaming.logitech.com. For me, I pick English in Canada. Select the option here, select Mice. That'll take you to this page. And then scroll down and pick your mouse. So me, I've got the G600 uh, MMO Gaming Mouse. So I click it, and it brings you... Sorry. Um, you can, if you want to, click your, your mouse. I, I, I skipped a step here. Uh, my bad. Uh, what you're using... Pick your mouse out. So me, it's the G600. It brings you to this page, gives you information on it, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can go to support, which then brings you to this page, which, again, for some retarded reason, uh, actually, sorry, skips that page, sorry, and brings you to this page. Now, gives you all the different little little angles and fixtures of your, of, of your mouse, which, like most people, I already know what my mouse looks like. But what you want to do is scroll down here where it says download. Now, where it says download, you have your different options for your Windows version. I got Windows 10, and I want the 64-bit. So you download it, and install the program. Then what you'll get is this program here. So this is the Logitech Gaming Software. First thing you want to do is click on the pad there. When you click on it, it brings up this main screen. Now it should load momentarily, and there we go. So now I have, right now, I have my Mac Warrior profile set up. This will usually start empty. What you'd want to do is tell it to do a search. Scan for new games. Tell it to search for it. It may not find Mech Warrior. If not, you just go to here and go into your Steam library or wherever it is and actually just, uh, sorry, and, uh, and add it. No big deal. Now what you're going to do is when you get it initially, it's going to be set up like this. So all the number keypads here are going to be letters, numbers, plus, minuses, and all that stuff. What you want to do is upload, as I said, or select, you know, is uh, add into here Mech Warrior Online. Go to it. Right click on it. Now, when you do it, firstly, it'll be just like the default profile, but what you do is you click each one, and then click what you want it to be here. So we want to, you know, button number three, we're going to click it, assign new command, well, it's number three, so we're actually going to tell it to do three. And, okay. So, that's how you program, right, to all everything you want to do. Good, right? Uh, <laughs> ignore that. So, once this is all done, a few things you want to do. Number one. Like I said earlier, you want to get a mech, right? You want to get a mech that you know has multiple different ballistics. Um, say you want to set it up for a three or two or, you know, however many. Okay, I'm going to do four. Because um, four is, generically, is the best when it comes to cooldown. So, what I've done, you'll see that I put them on three, four, five, and six. Right? So, three, four, five, and six. Now, what I've actually done is number six is not actually number six. So what you do is you click here, and you go Edit Command. Click on it. Now, you do Multi-Key. Don't worry about keystroke, don't worry about text block, don't worry about anything else here. Go to Multi-Key, and type in the numbers that you want to do. So, ignore this one second delay thing that's from me. So I told it to go, press the number 3, lift out the number 3. Well, I got the 3 on here twice. So you go 3, 4, 5, 6 is what I typed, right? Because it goes 3, 4, 5, and then 6. So then, what you do, I'll just do it right here real quick. You hit Start Recording, right? So you go 3, 4, 5, 6. Stop Recording. So now, 
it's setting it up so that I go three, four, five, six. Every time I hit this six button, which in this case is going to be this button right here, it internally is going to go three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. Now, a couple things you can do. I always set it to toggle. That means that it's going to constantly go three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six when I hit the button. So I hit six, and it's going to go three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. Now, when I hit the button again, as in when it's set to toggle, it will stop. Um, the best way to explain it is you're going to love this. This is what I do to actually test my macro. So I'm going to hit the button. That is what it's going to do right now. So right now it goes three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. The reason why it's doing that is because earlier I was running a um, an ultra cannon. Uh, so I was running four um, ultra, uh, ultra twos on a clan mech. So I was getting it to go three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. What you can do is change it so that's three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, or three, four, five, six. Best way to test it. Hit it again just to make sure. Boom. Best way to know is it will always do, when you hit the button, at least one, you know, two, one, usually with two or three full rotations of your guns. Now, every weapon does have its own, its own cooldown, right? So since we're using auto cannon twos, they have an all, the, um, I think it's a cooldown of 120 seconds, something like that. Now, you don't need to set each one to 120. What you can do, I set each one, and I actually set each one to 10. Double click, and just type in the number 10, and hit enter. Simple as that. Okay, so now it's when we set to toggle, whenever we hit 12, or sorry, G12, which in this case is our number 6 button, it's going to, let's delete all this, do the following. Boom. Oh, I haven't saved it yet. Sorry, whoops. My bad. So, click OK. Now it's coded number 6 to go 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 4, 5, 6, right? We open up our text document. We don't even worry about the game right now. And we hit 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect. Now what you do, each one is set to 0 0.01 seconds, or 10 milliseconds. What you do, you go into the game, and then you hit that button. And watch your 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 right there. So what you do is you watch, right? Those are going way too fast. They're not going in any significant order whatsoever. We load back up. Go to edit command, and then we have these. So obviously 0 0.01 seconds, not it's it's too much. So we're gonna go to twelve. Or sure, we're gonna go to one so we're gonna type in one twenty. Okay, we're going to click OK. Now, we're going to hit the button again. And there we go. Now you'll notice it's actually skipping 3 when we hit that button. Because, and if I check, we actually missed the first one. So we go 120, 120. So it's 120 milliseconds. It's actually, uh, what was it? It's milliseconds are different than seconds so we go into it again and go okay so now we're going to do 120 milliseconds let's see how it goes boom 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 perfect look at that perfect now if you're running say two more ac2s then it kind of gets a little wasteful i find that four is optimal because by the time gun number four is empty or is completely reloaded you're already on to gun one and you can actually go through them one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, what I'm going to show you is how I know it's 120 seconds. So we're going to quit our match. Well, I looked it up, I Googled it. But, we're going to go to, or sorry, we're going to go to the mech bay here. Ballistic, AC2. So we're going to hover, we're going to click on hover, click on it. So you'll see where it says cooldown, 0 0.72. So, what they do, usually for this, is there, there's a bit of a formula, right? 0 0.72 is actually 120 milliseconds. Um, basically, you just double it. Um, 
in game it's the timing's a little different like a cooldown rate of 1 is a is a gun that's immediately ready there's no actual time frame but uh, 0.72 is actually 120 seconds basically what i always do is i take to kind of get things right it's a i take the, the the second the amount of time so it's 72 so that's 144 i subtract the second number from the first from the first batch so i take the 7 and the 2 right 7 times 2 is 140 get the 2 120 that's usually what i do and then what I'll do is I'll slowly mid you know, modify it, change it, and whatever. To be 100% honest with you, that doesn't always work. I just happen to come up with that math form, like that number, and then someone actually told me I was right. Um, that's actually not the real way to do it. <laughs> um, you actually got to look on the internet. People have actually timed these things down to the second. Um, that's, that's, that's one of the few things. Um, you can also do the macro. We're going to bring up the software again with um you know multi-clicking as well so you can tell it to you know when you hit a certain button it jump jets until you go to um so to do that you can actually go to here uh, my jump jets is right here space so we click that little button here edit command so right now it's going to hit space want to hit space and that's it right so the jump jet's only going to turn on for a quick few seconds if i go to toggle or while pressed it will basically keep pressing space for you. Um, what I usually do is I actually set it to toggle and set that to zero. So if I want to jump, I just click, I just click the G17 button, aka space button, and my and my mech will just start jumping, and I'll immediately hit G17 and I'll stop jumping. Um, zoom, which is K, I think. No, K is eject, sorry. My bad. Uh, M, which is map. Um, I have G13, which is Z, which is zoom. Um, right now, I don't have anything set up to do an advanced zoom yet. My plan is actually to swap some of these around. But one thing I want to tell people is when you're setting up these buttons to do certain things in the game, um, the best thing to do for yourself is to play around in the, in the training grounds a couple matches by yourself. Go into the academy bay and try out what buttons feel more comfortable with you as to where they go. Um, one of my friends actually uses just these... Uh, I, sorry, I got a friend that um, I was talking to that has this, this mouse as well. Not for MechWarrior, but for... Um, I believe it's... Uh, it's a uh, MMO thing. He uses actually these last six. Doesn't really use the front six, but the last six because of how big his hand is. He actually uses the back six. Um, I use, obviously, the first six as my priority buttons, um, though I am having a bit of a, an issue. I might be switching back, actually, myself to these six as well, just because of the way my fingers actually come up here. Now, a couple of things you can do, too. Um, you can actually select the mode that you want your, your, uh, your guy to be on, and change the button, or change the lighting and all that stuff. Um, G8 for my guy changes my, uh, my colors. You can program it in so that no matter what game you're playing, it can change it. So I got like the Witcher, XCOM, Sid Meier's, uh, Operation Flashpoint, Men of War, Met Commander, Mass Effect, Lego Star Wars, Borderlands, IL-2. You can import any game that you have, as long as you have a copy of the EXE on your computer, which, I mean, come on, everybody does. It's, it's, that's how it works. Um, you select this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a game right now. That's a profile. We're going to import. Oh, oh. Sorry, it's going to take a little while here. Uh, it's a profile. Oh, how do I... Oh, because it's set to automatic detection right now. But I don't really want to change that because it's going to screw everything up. But you can actually change it so that it doesn't do automatic detection. Meaning that it will... You actually have to physically select the program. Um, to be honest with you, if you only play one game... There you go. You can set it up as your primary by default here. It's by default, and it's by persistent. Meaning that this is the one that goes with all the time, no matter what. Um, I've got it set to everything myself. You can do test profile. So when you press a button, it tells you what button you're pressing. And here's the best part. That's how you can tell your macro's working. Another way. But as I said, the best way to test your macro while you're doing this is a be in the game in a trial... In, um, sorry, in a... in one of the testing grounds... And then B have a to have a text document up just so you can see you know C M K space G14 
Boom. And there you go. Now, as I said, when you're running auto cannons, um, just half the time, and do it twice. So then we had it at 120. So you do it at you know just do 60, and then do you know three three four four five five six six. So for auto cannons, as I said, instead of ha instead of just typing three four five six, go three three four four five five six six, and half this. So we did 120. So do 60. And there you go. And what'll happen is it'll go three three four four five five six six. That's it. Uh, and I always set this to toggle. That way you just click it and it goes. Um, one of the ways you can do it too is because it's coming to bite me in the ass is while pressed. So while it's pressed, it'll go. It'll go. It'll shoot. And then whatever the last gun that one was, it'll continue with it anyways. It'll constantly go three four five six three four five six. It's a good way to do it too. Always make sure that the program is also running in the background and is running in administrator mode. Um, those are two main 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 things. Sometimes, if it's not running in administrator mode, it will not work. Um, other times, it might crash or might freeze up on you. So there you go. If you have any questions, whatever, uh, leave in the comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All that jazzy snazzy shit. Um, any other questions, inquiries, whatever, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, I read them all. I read every comment that comes out. Anyways, see you guys next time on the battlefield. Bye-bye.